I've been called out today for an immersion heater to change a switch over because it looks like it's burnt out. Now, immersion heater is obviously here, and now that's where the original switch used to be, but it's been replaced and been taken off the um, socket on the normal peak electricity supply. And you can see there, that apparently it was this switch that's been getting very hot. You can see there's sort of lots of signs of burning out. Every, all the electricity's turned off at the moment, and there's, it's been wired up in what looks to be some sort of flex or something. So I've got a, an immersion heater switch here. I'm gonna connect it into the flex on here and I'm gonna connect it back up to the original off-peak circuit. I've tested the circuit for insulation resistance and obviously continuity and it looks like it's a good circuit. Put it on there over the next couple of days, we can monitor it and make sure that it's okay. But yeah, this one needs to be got rid of. Remove the spur from the 13 amp socket. That socket all seems to be in okay condition. I think possibly this house might be rewired at some point. For doing what we're doing today, just to get the water back on should be okay. So the cables there, have all been doubled up they look in relatively good order i've just cut the end of the flex off immersion heater into this new switch and then get it tested and that should be okay so the new switch is fitted and so i just thought i would check the other end of the immersion heater and you can't see it very well but the screw for the earth is just finger tight and so i'm going to redo the terminations on there the neutral looks in good condition and i'll just re-terminate the live conductors into the thermostat all right so the switch is on the immersion heater and we rewired up we've got rid of the the old switch there everything's okay so that's um seems like it's a good should all should all work we'll test it a bit later on when the economy seven comes on